Uh, I'm Peter Jacobson. I've got a mechanical engineering background. Um, this is me prototyping a disk. So this is my experience of, of chaos and how I work with it. So in the creative pr process, uh, and then ending up with this disk here that doesn't look so chaotic, right? But we got there through, through chaos. Um, I've also done web development and meditation, hence the meditation still uh, has been a really big part of my life for the last four years. Um, so what I do now is I, I work with Heartwork, which I'm co co-founding with my wonderful business partner, Claire, who's here somewhere. Um, and we, yeah, Heartwork is about getting to the heart of what matters. Um, the context of 50% of New Zealanders struggling with mental health. We've got these big system challenges, uh, child poverty. We've got um, you know, this huge inequality, a, a number of other big issues. Um, and so for us, chaos <laughs> is so important to, yeah, where are we? So we, <laughs> um, sorry, this is the first time speaking in, to this kind of audience. Um, and I'm in this chaotic process myself right now, hey? So it's like, <laughs> okay, what are the tools I'm gonna share with you? Okay, non-judgment, all right, let's do that. Um, <laughs> so we're about sharing these tools for, for the chaotic, chaotic process so that we can harness all of our collective intelligence. And that means dealing with some things like feelings, which are chaotic, but point to things that are really important and we need to surface so that we can all work together. So there's diversity and inclusion as well. So this is, this is us in our own chaotic process, designing a mindfulness-based program that it's basically a, an open structure that allows emergence and chaos within it. So this is the work that we do. Um, what is chaos? Well, this isn't chaos. Um, this is linear thinking, this is Newtonian mechanics, this is industrial kind of stuff, and it's, you know, it's, it's taking us to a place with climate change and other things we don't really want to go. So, um, and part of the reason for that is that we live in this super chaotic world. This is the stock market. Uh, we, weather, super chaotic, and, you know, feelings. We don't really know what's coming next, so learning to deal with these. Um, or navigate them gracefully. So, what could, yeah, so, so what, what do we do in this chaotic world? Um, I, I recommend play, <laughs> so let's do some of that. Um, let's get into some chaos. So, just as a little primer, I'd love you to, if you're up for shutting your eyes or just lowering your gaze to the ground, taking a couple of deep breaths, three deep breaths, And one of the things that we might need to let go of to dance with chaos is judgment. So taking off the clothes of judgment and putting on the wetsuit of curiosity. <laughs> and in place of the judgment, let's have some discernment booties. So putting those on. And because we're in chaos, we don't know what's coming next. We might be making mistakes. So we're going to need a lot of kindness to ourselves. So deep so breathe in bring some kindness to yourself. And to work, with, to work with chaos, where we don't know what's coming next, things can move very fast or shift very quickly. So we're going to need a lot of a attention. And attention works like keep bringing it back. Keep bringing it back to what's happening right now. So bring your attention right now back to your breath, the sensation of breath in your nostrils, in your belly. Okay, great. And now uh, coming back, I'm going to get you to take your take your book and your pen and turn to face the person next to you. Great. 
great. All right, I've got another, I've, I have another request, just quickly. <laughs> here's, a, here's another little skill for dealing with chaos. If I put my hand up, I want you to put your hand up and shut your mouth. <laughs> okay, great. So, awesome. Um, so, the first thing I want you to do is write the name of the person next to you. And then, say, and then say bye, and then your name. So, Claire by Peter. Claire by, so you write your name, and then say bye, and then the name of the person you're drawing. So, the person next to you. Right, okay, so give, give, you, give it away. Um, so, <laughs> um, Next step is I need your artist signature at the bottom. This is a commitment to whatever is going to come out of your pen in the next two minutes. Okay, great. <laughs> and now you have two minutes to draw the person next to you, You're drawing each other. Um, be bold, make mistakes. There's no good, no bad here. Ben's done! <laughs> All right. If you're up for it, I'd love you to show each other. <laughs> awesome. I'd love you to, if you could rip out that page. And I'd love you to come and put it up the front here. Yeah, on the floor. Awesome. So another tool for dealing with chaos is, is movement. So moving the body, the body-mind all connected. So just, just coming up and moving up the front here maybe shifted something for you. Um, next quick exercise, get into groups of four. Um, so find a little group of four to, four to five. So, so this, time, this time you're going to be drawing the person, not, not one to your left, but two to your left. So find that person that you're drawing. Okay. Everybody, I want you to draw... <laughs> I want you to draw just their hair. Just their hair, you've got about 20 seconds. Just draw their hair. Okay, great. Hold on to your pen, pass your book to the left. And once you've got the new book, I want you to draw the eyebrows and the nose only. Eyebrows and nose only, next time. Okay, and now passing the notebook again to the left, this time just drawing the eyes. Drawing the same person as you were before. Okay, and passing again to the left, this time drawing, we're going to draw the face outline and like the torso, the top, like anything else you want to now. <laughs> Alright, 
Mouth might be good, yeah, if you want to do that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right, beautiful. Pins down. And maybe you can all share, have a look at each other's. So I'd like you to turn to the person next to you or maybe in groups of three and just quickly share a couple of things that maybe you noticed about yourself, maybe anything you noticed blocking, blocking your boldness and creativity, maybe which qualities helped you, well, what was helpful in general. So just very, very quickly turning to the person next to you and sharing what you learned from this, or what you noticed. Beautiful. I'd love to hear just shout out a couple of things that you learnt or noticed here. I suck at drawing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, less stress, day planning. Mm. Yeah, the second exercise is really helpful. The other one, the other one, the first one felt a bit more special. Mm. Collaboration. I was quite apologetic. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't look like you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. Uh, oh. Oh. So on that point, like maybe like through this process, you can create things that otherwise wouldn't be possible through like a new level of creativity. Um, uh, I was just really curious. Mm. Beautiful, thanks. Um, so, where are we, New Zealand? Uh, so, uh, our work at Heartwork is to bring this um, into organisations to let them work with the big, the big challenges. Um, so, um, one of the, one of the ways we're doing this is we're hosting this event. Let's talk about work, baby. <coughs> just talking about how we work together um, to enable this d deeper creativity and embrace embracing of chaos. I'd love for you to take, take, take this out into your day, this kind of fearlessness, boldness, playfulness. Um, take, uh, I'll send you yeah, um, instructions on guiding this process, is online as well. Um, these, will go into an e um, these will go into an exhibition of a thousand of these in Thistle Hall in a while. <laughs> if, um, if, you're, if, if you're not up for being an exhibiting, uh, if you, yeah, so you'll be an exhibiting artist, and if you don't want that, just come, come and grab your picture before you go, and that's totally cool. Um, and I'll send a link out to that as well. Um, thanks so much for your time. Come and talk, come and talk with me and Claire about what we do. Um, yeah, have a beautiful day.